Hey Fawn fam! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey what's up? My name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. As always, there will be timestamps listed down below so you can jump around and if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and thumbs this video up. I do try to post as regularly as possible with as many new releases as possible so being subscribed and turning that notification bell on will go a long way in ensuring that you never miss out on all the fun, new content, new releases, and everything that is the Fawn family. Now, I am so excited about this video. I got the new releases from ABH, like the entire kits, so I picked up both quads. Then the quads came with uh, the warm tone quad, came with two liquid lipsticks, and the cool tone quad came with two lip glosses. So I do lip swatch these at the end of the video. The lip, liquid lips are metallic, but they're very glowy and the colors are beautiful. So if you're kind of scared of metallics, I feel like these are a really nice balance to a metallic liquid lip and the formula is really nice. And then these glosses are also very glowy, gel-like, very comfortable. The shifts are beautiful. So I really enjoyed all four lip products. Then I swatched out both of these palettes and I finally swatched and played with the Norvina palette. I've had it since July of last year, right before I went on my medical leave for six months and then never got around to playing with it. So I used the Norvina palette and two shades out of the cool tone palette to create this eye look and I swatch out this and this palette is so delicious. I cannot wait to use this in an eye look. All four shades are gorgeous and the two metallics are just, oh my god, ridiculously beautiful. Same with this cool tone. I used this shade as one of the colors that I laid down and then this one to darken it. So beautiful. The Norvina palette, I'm sure you guys all know, is spectacular. There is a lot of kickback and there is quite a bit of fallout, even building up the colors gradually, but it kicked away so easily. It didn't leave any powder, any marks left on my face. And uh, the colors Love and Soul are just so pigmented and beautiful. I couldn't get over how these soft colors give so much bang. And then I used Wild Child and Celestial as well, and they are so glowy and beautiful. I did put a little bit of the Makeup Forever Starlit Diamond Powder in number 102, just slightly scattered over the lid for a little something something. And I did pop my Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner in Fairy Queen in my crease, again, to just give it a little extra something something. I thought it'd be really fun to play with these colors, try to get one more girl early Valentine's Day look out to you guys trying to stick with a palette I think a lot of you probably have while exploring their newest releases, giving you lip swatches, and all of the goods. So if you guys want to see all of this in action, then just keep on watching. All right, I'm in the middle of doing a full face first impressions. I am loving all these products so much. I will link the corresponding video in this description bar once it is up with all of the products. But now I received the newest ABH launch. <laughs> I bought this right when it dropped, I want to say maybe a week ago, and it arrived maybe two days ago. So I did get the one entire kit, which included a palm tree light, and then the other and the kits included an eyeshadow quad each, two lip glosses or liquid lips. I'm not sure. We're gonna find out each. <gasps> and sunglasses. You know, if I don't break this in the meantime. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's like rubberized. It's going in right. Mm. I'm confused. Oh, does it need, a, no, does it just sit in there? Maybe it just sits like that. Oh, this has 
like a USB adapter, so I can't plug this in right now. But she glows neon pink, and that's what she looks like. So I'll grab my laptop afterwards so we can see how cute it is plugged in. And then these are how the kits come, which is really nice. It's a soft matte packaging. This is Day Party. <laughs> this is so adorable. Oh my gosh. Seriously though, you even get a little uh, sunglass protection sleeve. I wasn't expecting that. This is beautiful. One of the shadows is a little bit broken and that makes me really sad. What are you? Liquid lips? Yeah, liquid lips. So you get Punch and Bellini. These are gorgeous shades. Wow. Oh my gosh, these are way too adorable. <laughs> so there are the pink ones. I think my step girls are going to love these so much. These are way too cute. This is a beautiful, aside from the fact that it came a little bit broken, beautiful quad. And you can pop them out and put it in your own Z palette. Those are gorgeous. And then the other kit is cool toned. And it is sunset. <laughs> These sunglasses, though, are so huge, <laughs> but they're really fun. They show the highlight off beautifully. I really appreciate that. <laughs> then you get Daiquiri Lip Gloss. Oh, it's nice. It's a lip gloss. And Blue Hawaii. I really like these colors. They're really nice. And then the little cool toned kit. So I'm gonna swatch those out. And then I thought it'd be nice to, I haven't actually played with the Norvina palette yet. I did buy it last July and then I had to go on my six, month, six months medical leave and just, I haven't played with it. But I was thinking that this would probably be a really beautiful Valentine's Day palette or just a really girly palette in general. So I'm going to swatch her out and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do for a look. If I'm gonna just stick with this palette or if I'm gonna dip into some of the newer shades, I don't know, but I figured a lot of people probably have this palette so it might be a great time to just try to come up with a nice little girly glam eye tutorial. So I'm gonna swatch all of these out and I will be right back. All right, I figured out this little palm tree, or rather Kurt figured out this little palm tree, and it comes with a casing for three AA batteries, but we can't get it to work with the batteries in it, which is really weird. It's only working when it's plugged into a power source and without the batteries in there, so just something to be aware of. And also, when you go to click it in, it initially comes off like it's really unsturdy and it's just going to fall over, but the palm tree does in fact really attach to the base and it like sticks in there. So just don't worry that you're gonna break it when you're trying to pop it in. Be delicate with it because it is plasticky, but it is supposed to actually click in and I didn't realize that. But this is so freaking cute. It is this neon pink, just adorable palm tree. I think it was 15 bucks. It was a little bit cheaper when you bought it with the kit and I just can't recommend this entire collection enough. Damn, all three of these palettes are so stunning. I am obsessed with all of them. This is so beautiful. This Norvina palette is pigmented, smooth, the metallics are blinding. Oh my gosh, stunning. The Cool Tone palette is beautiful. This blue and the metallic are just incredible, but this blue is like a glowy blue. It is so nice. And this warm tone palette, oh my gosh, I wanna do an eye look with right now. I'm obsessed with all four shades and these two metallics are delicious. So first up, this is the Norvina palette. We have Dreamer, so beautiful. Summer, Wild Child, that's like an ultraviolet pink. And same with the purple, they're both like UV, it's gorgeous. Rose Gold, Celestial, Dazzling, Drama, first row. Second row, we have Base, Soul, Incense, Love, Volatile, 
Eccentric and Passion. Then these shades are so beautiful. These are the four shades from the Cool Tone palette. That blue is just beautiful. And then this Warm Tone palette, I am salivating over. I Like salivating. I desperately want to use these four shades. I will save that for another video as I am trying to still stay in like the girly Valentine's Day realm, but oh, wow. I am having a very difficult time trying to decide what I want to do because I am obsessed with all of these metallics. I'm obsessed with the new metallics. I want to use like 10 and I can't. So we're just going to go for it and see where this looks take, where this looks, look, where this look takes us. Wow. <laughs> that was really difficult. All right. So starting with my Carity E31, I'm going to go into, I think love and start building the crease and above. These do have a lot of kickback, so beware of that. But look at that pigmentation. <laughs> trying out a new concealer and it is creasing so intensely now. The new foundation I'm using is beautiful, but damn, this is creasing. Now taking my Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush, I'm gonna go into Soul. Now taking my Scott Barnes number 63 brush, I'm gonna go back into Love and smoke that beneath the lower lash line. Now taking my Luxie 221, I'm gonna go into Soul and get that beneath the lower lash line. Now taking my Scott Barnes number 61 brush, I'm gonna go into the Cool Tone palette and take this shade to find the crease a little bit more. Now going back in with the Luxie 221, I'm gonna stick with this shade and get it beneath the lower lash line. Now taking my Wayne Gloss number 20 brush, I'm gonna go back into Love and just re-intensify it. Now taking my P. Louise base in Rumor 0 0.5, I'm gonna do a partial cut crease. Now taking my MAC 242, I'm going to go into that cool tone blue first. Then I'm going to go into the Norvina palette and take Celestial. Then I'm gonna go into the pink and pop the wild child in the center. And 
Now I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever Starlit Diamond Powder in 101. I'm gonna line her up. Now taking some Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner in Fairy Queen. All right, let's swatch these ABH lippies. I'm gonna start with the liquid lipstick in Bellini. This is so pretty, so pretty. This color is going to be perfection with that quad. Like, perfection. And it's metallic, but it's more glowy than metallic. I really like this a lot. Now we have Sunset Punch. I'm enjoying these shades quite a bit. There's something, even though it's metallic, that's just so glowy and the shades are really pretty. Now the lip glosses, Pink Daiquiri. Oh, these smell good. They feel really nice too. And now we have Blue Hawaii. I think this shade would be really nice over top of a liquid lip, a lipstick, lip liner. It has like blue, pink, purple, like there's so many different reflex in it. really nice and the formula is so gel like and very comfortable and it smells so good I'm so hungry hubby is coming home with some fries and I need them like now because I'm gonna die if I don't eat <laughs> but anyway that does it for this video please thumbs it up if you liked it please share it please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time good night good morning wherever you are I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later Bye, guys.